Classroom grade ethanol sensors and interfaces, available from vendors like Vernier and Pasco, can be used for ethanol measurements and fermentation experiments. These sensors are good for showing qualitative changes in ethanol. Both human and instrumental error can make quantitative comparisons between samples difficult. This video will provide tips on how to take more accurate measurements and make more meaningful comparisons. Between each class use and before calibration, try to replace the permeable membrane on the end of the probe. For starters, try to calibrate the probes following the manufacturer's instructions. Plug it in and let it warm up over a sample of water for at least 5 minutes. For PASCO probes, use a one-point calibration with a prepared 1% ethanol solution. If you're using a vernier probe, use a two-point calibration with either 1 tenth and 1% solutions or 1 and 3% solutions. Match the calibration solution range with the expected range of your measurements. When calibrating probes, the idea is to replicate as best you can the conditions that will be present for the actual readings. After calibration, check the accuracy of the probe by taking a reading of known condition. If they seem off, recalibrate and try again. Open the containers and allow them to rest for approximately 30 seconds. Hold the probe approximately 2 centimeters over the liquid. The height of the probe affects the reading, so try to be consistent across measurements. It is best to wait 1 or 2 minutes for the reading to stabilize to the nearest tenth of a percent. You can take readings in less time, but it's important to be consistent across measurements. If the probe starts producing erratic results, try recalibrating and measuring again. The sensors are only accurate up to 3%. If possible, use dilutions to take more accurate measurements for higher ethanol concentrations.